In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at a Becca's sixth grade curriculum. We're gonna see what are all the components that come included in this awesome curriculum. So make sure to stick around and watch. Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Jesse, and this is going to be our third year homeschooling with the Abeka curriculum. And we have to say we absolutely love this curriculum. My son is going to be going into the sixth grade and he himself loves it as well. So the fact that us as parents love it and our children are loving it too is a good testament on how amazing this curriculum is. So the curriculum itself is very comprehensive. It includes absolutely everything that you need to successfully provide your children with a Christian-based homeschool education. They will honestly get more than enough for what they need to be to be successful in their future, whatever their careers may be. So let's go ahead and take a nice closer look at this Abeka sixth grade curriculum. We're first going to talk about one of my favorite things about this particular curriculum, and it is the video lessons. We get the DVDs instead of the video streaming because it's just so much better for our family and we don't have to depend on on internet for our kids to get their video lessons. So we get 170 days of video lessons for every subject that is included in the curriculum, which is pretty much everything you need to homeschool. So we get our DVDs in three containers like those. And then along with that, we get the homeschool video manual. And in this manual, on the front cover, you see everything that comes included in the curriculum, all the workbooks, the tests, the consumables, all that fun jazz. And then when you go in, you're going to notice that it has the layout for every single day. So you're going to see lesson 12 is, is day 12, and it has the Bible layout, the arithmetic, reading, penmanship, spelling, history, science, art, everything that your child is going to be doing on that particular day. And then on the back of this, it has all the resources that the parents need, the Bible tests, graphic organizers, formation guides. They're divided by subjects, um, spelling answer keys, and then your progress reports are found in the back as well. So I find this to be super essential. And I also have to mention that I love how they come with pre-punched holes on them in case you wanna rip them out and place them in a binder or however you choose to use this to customize it to your personal preference. Next, we are moving on to our language arts component of this curriculum, which is one of my favorite things. I just love how comprehensive this curriculum is when it comes to language arts. So we're going to start over here with the reading comprehension skill sheets, and this is a student consumable. It starts with like different graphic organizers, but then it has passages with comprehension questions in the back. So very similar to cold reads, they read the passage, they answer the questions and just show their comprehension. So I, I just absolutely love this. There is, let's see how many, and in the back there's like um, summer reading long, but this one comes with 38 passages with comprehension questions. And then this is the answer key for everything reading. And I love this. <laughs> I love this a lot because it has all the questions that the students have in their readers, but it also has different questions that you can ask as they read certain pages in the readers. So for me, I, in fifth grade, I've been doing reading with my son and I have found this to be super helpful um, when it comes to us reading the stories and just asking questions to check his comprehension. And it just really makes it super easy for the parent. Like they do have questions in here, so you can ask the questions and the answers are right here to help you, the parent, um, kind of know what is it that they're looking for. So I love this. There are two novels. There is Trapped in a Hot Air Balloon. 
and this is what it looks like there's some pictures in there I've never read this book so I'm excited about it and it has like meet the author so trapped in a hot air balloon and then Billy Sunday and I'm sure that this is just a biography in the form of a narrative yep it is a biography last year they had a biography on Noah Webster and then Message on the Mountain as a book that they read and they did book reports on those. So I'm assuming it is the same format for sixth grade. Then there is Adventures in Greatness and these are speed drills like the students read and you can track their words per minute and also a comprehension type cold read thing as well. So when you look in here, these are the stories that they're gonna be reading and it just tells you like how many words there are per passage so that you can calculate the words per minute. And then on the back, there are the quizzes that you give for each one of those. So they read it and then they take the quizzes and down here you can write how many words per minute they read and they're great that they have here. And then in here as well on the very back, there's the answer key for the quizzes so that you can grade them. And then on the back, there is just a little graph where they can graph their words per minute and then how many did they get correct on the quiz so they could track their growth. So I love this. I think this is great. And the stories in there are usually very high interest. And then for the readers that they're going to be reading, there's going to be three. There is Mountain Pathways. This is what it looks like on the inside. The second one is going to be Voyage of Discovery. And the last one is Of America 2. Currently we're in fifth grade and we're in the last quarter of fifth grade and we are reading Of America 1. And one thing that I love about these readers is that it just contains a variety of reading text. So they have narratives, they have poetry, they have informational texts, they have fictional texts, realistic, um, realistic fiction. Um, and it's just, they have plays in there, like readers theaters in there as well. So the kids really see like this. So your kids are really going to be getting so much exposure to just a variety of different texts and I just love that. I love, 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 love that they just contain a little bit of everything in there. Then for spelling, vocabulary, and poetry, this year the book is a little bit bigger. It tells you in the front the spelling lists, one through 34, and then later on in the back you see the different poems that they have. And typically these are poems that they recite and memorize. And then on the back, there's a resource where it tells you prefixes, suffixes, root words, and their meanings, which is always helpful. And they have like a little punctuation key over here that you can use as a reference. So these are, it looks like the, ooh, I love it. It looks like the first list um, in sixth grade is gonna focus on roots and prefixes and suffixes. So Greek roots, Latin prefixes, and the suffixes of words, which is really good. And then on the side, it has just some exercises that they can do. There you go, you see that? List three. And then it has the spelling, the vocabulary. Oh, and that's something else that I wanted to mention. It does have a spelling list and a vocab list. So it's not like they're gonna have 35 spelling words. They're gonna have 20 spelling words and then the rest of them are vocabulary words. And they usually get tested the, uh, tested in those as well. So that's what the spelling looks like. The spelling tests, there is a specific workbook that comes for the spelling test. Now the way that these are laid out is that they have a sentence dictation, there's spelling words, and then they have an area for vocabulary. And pretty much every test has like 
a little thing in the back where they write if it's true, false, correct, or not correct. And then at the end, they have to write a sentence using one of the vocabulary words and they have to use that sentence accurately. So all the tests pretty much have a similar layout, spelling, vocab, and application. And then along with that is the teacher key. Everything that is a consumable that you are going to have to know the answers to or the kiddos are gonna have to know the answers to come with a parent key or a teacher key. Now for penmanship in sixth grade, it's a little bit different than what it was in fifth grade. So penmanship is also creative writing. So creative writing with penmanship skills is not so much about the penmanship skills themselves. It seems to be incorporating the creative writing aspect of it as well. So in here, it shows you that penmanship skills are going to be focused on pages one through 32. And then uh, the creative writing is going to be on the second half of the book with 33 to 88. So the way it works is that they have certain things that they work on to exercise. So you see, they do their exercises. And I love that in this book it's bigger. So they actually are doing the exercises in here instead of the other books where they have to, they do some practices in here, but they have to do their exercises on loose leaf paper. So I love how they're giving them in here space to actually do their exercises. And then their tests, they have a total of 15 tests. They copy the passage on a separate piece of lined paper and that's their test. And then this part over here is the creative writing aspect. And I looked at it earlier and I noticed that they are going to be doing some poetry, which I love. So they go through the steps like creating and observing, observing details on how is it that you do some creative writing. And then on the back, it has the poetry. For God's Gift of Language C, this particular workbook and this particular class doesn't just focus on grammar, it focuses on writing as well. So it just goes along with this. They do work on the grammar aspect and every year they have been building a little bit more and more and more. And then as they go on, they work on like writing book reports, writing um, research papers. Like my son in fifth grade, he just finished doing his research paper and he chose to do it on um, Charles Babbage. So it was pretty in depth. Like it really walks you through. It gives you great examples on what the kids should be writing. So it's a great guide, but they do do writing in here as well. It's not just standalone grammar. It also guides them on doing certain things that they apply in writing class. So samples of a book report, writing social notes. He's done writing a letter before in fourth grade. I know he had to do like a letter to the president and stuff like that. So it really is more than just grammar. It also incorporates writing in here as well. And we're very happy with how that has come to be. And then here is the answer key for the parents. It just shows you two per page. And along with that, you have your quizzes and tests. And the quizzes and tests here are more of the grammar aspect of things. So they all focus on the grammar concepts that they are learning in class. Pretty much you get everything that you need to provide your kids with a really solid English language arts foundation. Now moving along to arithmetic. This is the workbook they do along with the class. And in the beginning it tells you like what is it that they're going to be addressing, whole numbers, measurements, factoring, fractions, decimals. Um, percents, graphs, geometry, algebra, practical arithmetic. So all these things, they're, it's spiraled. So they received an introduction in the earlier years and then every year they add more and more to it, which I love because it really does help with mastering the skills that he needs to know in arithmetic. And then along with that is the parent answer key. The layout is very similar to the language arts, two pages per page. And then here are the students' drills, the speed drills, the test, and the quizzes for math. 
it's all in one workbook which I love so their speed drills typically look like this there's four of them and then there's typically a quiz and you write like their totals here. There is, I believe, one speed drill per week that you use to later on average as a whole in their math grade. So there's a quiz and then they have a test. So they have a quiz, I believe, on a weekly basis and maybe a test every couple of weeks. And then the answer key for the parent as well. Now for history and geography and all that fun jazz. We have all of these wonderful things. My son loves watching history and science. Those are his favorite classes to watch the actual lesson. So this year for history, we have this geography bowl, which is data, trivia, and important concepts. I'm not quite sure how is it going to be used, this is new to me. We didn't do this in fourth or fifth grade, so I'm excited to see how this is going to be applied in there. This is the textbook, New World History and Geography. Last year, it was more of the ancient world. So very similar layout when it comes to the textbook for, to previous years. Then there is a New World History and Geography map and activities. And these are just different concepts that they teach in the class that the kids get to work on. And I love the geography in here. It's really good. It really does help them know where they are at in the world and where everybody else is at in the world. And then these are the quizzes. And then the tests come in a separate one. Now all of this I like to organize in a binder. And I do have a video showing you guys how I did it for fifth grade. I like to do a new video every new grade just because the curriculum, you know, I like to show how I put it together. But if you wanna see just the standard way of doing it, I will attach the video up here so you can check that out on how we organize that. This is the answer key for the workbook. Every chapter has questions at the end, so you can see what page those are on, and then it gives you the answers to those questions, so you can check in on understanding the quiz, the test, and the maps and activities keys. Moving on to science. This year is Observing God's World, and they are going to be touching on, let's see over here, plants, invertebrates, Earth, the universe, space, and chemistry. And then along with these, we have our quizzes and worksheets. So for science, you get the quizzes here and the worksheets that they do in the class as well. This is laid out a little bit differently than the geography and history because the history has the maps and activities in a separate workbook and the quizzes in a separate workbook. Here they are consolidated in here, both of those things. And then the student tests are in here. And then along with all that, you get all of your teacher answer keys. And then along with science, you typically do science three quarters of the year. And the last quarter, you typically do health. So in sixth grade, they're going to be choosing good health. And this is the workbook that comes along with it. I love it because it's very scientific. It really teaches the kids about their bodies and how things work, and it's just really good. And here are the quizzes, the tests, and the worksheets all in one. Here is the answer key to the textbook questions at the end of each chapter. And then here is the answer key to the quizzes, the tests, and the worksheets. Okay, and last but not least, we have art included here as well, Art C, and they are continuing to build upon what they've done in the previous year. So it just tells you like September project one, 
um, September Project 2, which is they don't give you a specific date to work on it, which is awesome. So you can kind of see the different projects that they will be working on for art. And they are seasonal as well. So that is art. Now for this entire curriculum, I paid $1,161 and that includes taxes and a 15% off coupon that I had back in February. So right now, Abeka is running um, another deal, I think with the code safe big, where parents can save $150 on their accredited homeschool curriculum, $100 on the independent study, and I don't remember exactly how much it is for the parent-led, but you can always check their websites. Anytime I order, I order directly from the Abeka website, and I order the entire video kit. So that's the video plus the books all in one. And I find it that it's pretty quick. It arrived for us like within three days of us ordering it. Everything came in there nice and neatly packaged. So it was very easy to unbox. And as always, this is just so much fun to look and see what the new content is going to be that the kiddos are going to be working on. Be on the lookout because I do love to organize my curriculum. So at the end of this homeschooling year, after I put everything from this year away, I will be starting to organize our sixth grade and our first grade homeschool curriculum. I do have a video that I've made on the process that I go through to organize our kids curriculum. If you want to check that out, um, that was for the fifth grade one, but I have one for K4, K5, and for fourth grade. So you can always check the layout of those, um, but I will be doing one for sixth grade and first grade as well. I'm also thinking of sharing with you all our organization here in our living room. We don't have much space, so it's honestly a little cubby. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a video on how we manage that just to share with you guys um, how we make it work here in our home. If you guys have any questions about homeschooling as a working parent, homeschooling using a Becca Academy, go ahead and let me know in the comments below or you can send me a message directly. I will be more than happy to answer your questions or make a video about it, um, whatever would be more helpful. Thank you guys for watching today. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!